Hello everyone and welcome back to another unboxing video. Uh, you guys can probably tell by the title and the thumbnail what it is, but I'm going to give a little bit of backstory to this as to uh, why I did this. So, if you guys haven't been keeping up on the channel lately, uh, I have started a new series uh, for, uh, for a little bit now called uh, Studio Ghibli Summer. Where basically I'm going to be talking about uh, all of these Studio Ghibli movies uh, in order. And, um, you know, talk about my thoughts on them and that sort of stuff. The majority of them are on Max. So, I could watch them whenever. But, obviously, uh, streaming services can only last for so long. And, obviously, they could cancel at any time and we could not know about them. Uh, so, it's, you know, kind of nice to try and keep them... Or get them physically to kind of, you know, make sure that you have them for a very long time. Now, I obviously do this series with a good friend of mine named Oddboy. Now, um, a while ago, if you guys haven't seen the vlog yet, I posted uh, my second vlog, second actual vlog. Uh, basically, the behind the scenes of the Twin Trouble 4th of July skit that appeared in one of the latest episodes that came out. Uh, and in that, uh, in that video, uh, Oddboy, also known as Franco, he gave me a lot of stuff, including, you know, um, uh, which I show off on the video. But one of those items was this, the uh, Blu-ray to the movie Ponyo, uh, which, we, which was the very first Studio Ghibli movie we ever watched. So this was technically my first, this is my first ever Studio Ghibli movie on Blu-ray. Uh, obviously, I didn't pay for it. Uh, it's in kind of battered shape. Obviously, it doesn't have the slipcover. Uh, the spine is pretty worn out. You can see there's a little bit of a, uh, like, deterioration there. Uh, also, up here, it's really obvious. And, um, yeah, but uh, overall, I, you know... I, I plan, I, I probably will get a replacement cover for this, or a replacement case uh, for this, and, you know, like swap it out, and whatever. And, but, whatever. So, I've had this now for a few weeks. I haven't popped in the movie yet since I've already seen it, but, you know, still really glad to own this. Ever since we started, though, Studio Ghibli Summer, I've been, want, I've been uh, really getting into um, getting all the movies on Blu-ray. And, uh, so far, like, I haven't really found any places near me, uh, that had some of them. But, uh, over the last couple days, I did find some stores, uh, near me, uh, you know, uh, Target and Best Buy, to be specific, that actually did sell some Studio Ghibli movies. Uh, but, um, I, I wanted to wait a little bit before, like, going full in on that. And now, uh, obviously, that you guys have already seen, um, the, uh, the, the Princess Mononoke video is already out, so you guys already know my opinions on them, and now we are here today. So these are the two Studio Ghibli Blu-rays that I just got, right, uh, as of the last hour, pretty much. Uh, Princess Mononoke, uh, released in 1997, and Spirited Away, released in 2001. Now, these are two of the most highly sought after um, release or uh, Studio Ghibli movies. Uh, these are uh, movies that basically a lot that uh, <clears throat> that that people really talk about. Um, you know, like these these are like whenever people talk about their like their favorite Studio Ghibli movies, these two are always up there. So, it is very much, you know, like, uh, like, very much, like, okay, we gotta, you know, you can just, you know, whatever, like, get these. So, I've had the, my eye on both of these for a while. I, I could have gone Studio, uh, Spirit Away for a while, but I never really jumped on it. I wanted to wait until I can get, uh, Princess Mononoke as well, and, um, you know, just do both of them. Now, this one was a bit more trickier to get because, um... I did not know really any stores around me that didn't, that had this one. Uh, I knew uh, like a couple places around me that had Spirited Away, but not Princess Mononoke. Finally, I figured out that the Target near me uh, had it, so I just so I went there, 
and I thought initially that they didn't have any slipcovers, uh, like this Ponyo one right here, so I got a little bit nervous. But then I looked past the first one that was on display, and they had this. This was the only, uh, the only version, uh, the only one at the, uh, at the Target that had the slipcover, and you can ca you can kind of tell, uh, it's a bit worse for wear. I mean, the the seal right there is practically ripped, uh, not ripped open, but it's like coming apart. And uh, the disc were the disc are kind of loose in there, so I'm gonna tackle this one first. And I went to Best Buy and got uh, Spirited Away. Uh, but let's let's just jump into this. So uh, I can probably just if I can get it in there. Um, I'm trying to be as delicate as possible with these. Oh yeah, okay. I know I need scissors for this. <laughs> Actually, wait, no, no. I don't even. I don't even think I need scissors for this. I can just grab this and then just. If it wants to fucking rip, Jesus. Oh wow, it's being really resilient right now. Okay, now that's got it. Okay. Fairly easy to get. Uh, so, there is a bit of damage right there, but it's not too bad. And it's a bit of folding on the sides. But overall, I could care less. Um, oh wow, okay, that's, I didn't even realize that this was sealed on the inside too, so, you know, double protection. Now this is, now this is the really good stuff here, so just gotta, I probably could just, yep, just get it with my nail. Let's set the slipcase off to the side so I can, can I get it? Jesus. <laughs> I'm just gonna. Glorious. <laughs> so, yeah, so, I mean, I could obviously use the slipcover for an example, but yeah, there's the front, glorious artwork, you have the cast list there, and obviously directed by the man himself, Hayao Miyazaki, uh, we flip it around, and, um, you know, there's the back right there, two disc edition, basically all of these are a Blu-ray and DVD combo, so you get both, uh, the special features down here, uh, you get an exclusive booklet, Full-length uh, storyboards uh, behind the microphone, uh, Princess Mononoke in USA, uh, TV spots, and original theatrical trailers. Now, um, this is basically... I didn't really show this off in a video yet. Uh, but this... Actually, does it say it on... Does it show it on the... Okay, no, it's the exact same here. Uh, but yeah, basically, exclusive booklet, feature-length storyboards behind the microphone, the five geniuses who... Or the, the five geniuses who created Ponyo... Interviews with Hayao Miyazaki and Toshi uh, Suzuki. Uh, theme song press conference. Music video. Uh, opening events at Haiba Scala Z or Zay Theater and more. So that's what comes in this. And obviously if I open it up. Um, you get the uh, Blu-ray here. DVD there. And it comes with some pretty nice uh, back art of, uh, I think that's Jellyfish. Uh, so, oh yeah, and the, uh, the booklet here, uh, which goes over the, uh, the basic, I think this is the basic plot here, um, then this is, uh, a, a statement by the director, Hayao Miyazaki, uh, with images on the side as well, and on the third page is the lyrics to not only, uh, Mother Sea, but the title track, uh, Ponyo on the Chil on the cliff by the sea. So, pretty nice. Um... But now let's get into um, let's get into this one now. Now, okay, so that's the uh, Blu-ray disc there. I'm gonna take the booklet out because we're gonna cover that last. Uh, there's the DVD and the the background for this. It looks like to be the um, the Iron Village from uh, in the movie. Uh, but yeah, pretty sick looking. Uh, I think this is, uh, oh yeah, because this is technically, uh, put out by G-Kids, which is, uh, owned by Shout Factory, so this is a Region A Blu-ray, unfortunately. I think there are UK versions, though, so, if I know who wants to try and get them, there you go. Um, but yeah. Alright, now, let's look over this, uh, booklet. Uh, we have, uh, The Turning Point of an Era, 
Uh, this is the produ by, this statement is written by the producer of uh, the Studio Ghibli producer uh, Toshi Suzuko. Uh, basically, I think this talks about like uh, this was the turning point for Studio Ghibli because this was for many who don't know this was the very first Studio Ghibli movie to actually be released in America. I think in theaters. So yeah, uh, this is the director statement uh, again. Oh wow, this actually goes on for a little bit. Um, yeah, two page spread by of. Uh, of me from Miyazaki and that's it that's pretty much about it uh well yeah there wasn't really any uh musical tracks in this movie or like like lyrical English pieces throughout so I guess that kind of makes sense um I can get this sucker on oh yeah you can kind of tell my camera can focus yeah there's a bit of paint damage right there but honestly I don't really care um so yeah, that's Princess Mononoke. Uh, I really did enjoy this movie when I watched it for the review. Like most of these movies, uh, most of the Studio Ghibli movies uh, that I watch, I basically have seen. I'm watching for the very first time, so this was amazing when I first watched it. Now we get on to the heavy hitter, really here, uh, Spirit Away. Now I've I've I watched this before doing Studio Ghibli Summer, so. Uh, when I do the review on it, this will obviously be my second time watching it. Um, but yeah, the last time I watched it, I really uh, did enjoy this. Uh, special features for this, uh, again, exclusive booklet, full-length storyboards, behind the microphone. Uh, this time, I, this includes a Nippon television DVD, or special, that's on the DVD, and then the theatrical trailers and TV spots. So, pretty standard stuff. Uh, this one is going to be a little more possibly difficult to get into. Um, because it's way more, well, sealed, I guess you could say it. Um, but I think I can get it. Wow. That came off clean. I don't know if that was on camera or not, but like, wow. That was, that was smooth. All right, now, I'm trying to get this open. There we go. Oh, this one actually doesn't have any um, plastic on the actual DVD case, uh, like Princess Mononoke, so that's a bit weird. And this is more of that stretchy plastic where it's, oh yeah, it's not even coming on camera. It's like very stretchy, but Still makes somewhat of a satisfying noise, but not as much as that crap. <laughs> but again, uh, slip cover, amazing as usual. Let me pull that down. Let me get the regular case here. Um, yeah. Ooh, okay. Oh wow, that's it. Oh what the? Okay, no, that, okay, that's okay. So there is the Blu-ray. And then the DVD. Uh, the background, I think, is yep. It's the um, it's the I think it's the the meat uh, deli kind of thing at the beginning of the movie. So, um, yeah. Uh, but this actually came with two pamphlets. One of them being the actual booklet, and then the other one being this little thing. Uh, basically saying, uh, Studio Ghibli Collection on DVD, Blu-ray, and Steelbook. And it's showing, uh, some of the Steelbooks here. Uh, including, uh, Castle in the Sky, House Moon Castle, Kiki's Delivery Service, My Dipper Totoro, Nausicaa, The Valley of the Wind, Ponyo, Princess Mononoke, Spirit Away, The Castle, uh, The Cat Returns, Whisper of the Heart, and Earwig and the Witch. Um, so obviously I, I technically have, uh, Ponyo, or actually these three right here, I have. Uh, but the rest of these, I do not. Uh, those I'll be picking up on the standard editions, but I really want to get Castle in the Sky because I fucking love that movie. Uh, I have not seen House of Castle yet, and then uh, the rest of these I've seen. Uh, not The Cat Returns. I've seen Whisper of the Heart, but not Earwig. So, yeah, but that's a little cool. And then the book leaf here. This feels a little bit more thicker. Oh, yeah, I think it is. Um, so, I think this here is uh, a little... Well, I th uh, uh, so I think this discusses the dialogue between uh, our two uh, main characters here. Uh, this is by the producer of the film. Again, with uh, 
or screenshots there. Oh, oh, wow. That is actually beautiful. So it's the screenshot of the movie during like halfway through it. Um, and then here's the director's statement. Uh, again, with more screenshots. Oh, wow, that's that's a double fold. Oh, this was from 1999, so two years before the movie came out. So, yeah. Close that up. So, if I can get the slipcase back in. Yeah. There we go. So, yeah, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And, uh, obviously, you know, my Studio Ghibli collection is only just starting. I only have, you know, three of the movies uh, right now, but obviously I plan on getting more, you know, like with Castle of the Sky, Nausicaa, um, Katie's Delivery Service, My Never Totoro, uh, The Whisper of the Heart. Uh, I'm not gonna be picking up uh, Only Yesterday or Ocean Waves because, well, you guys should know why. Um, and, um, my neighbor, the Yamada, I'm probably not going to pick up because that was kind of iffy for me. Uh, I think that's about it so far for the movies I have seen. Uh, but obviously, as the marathon goes on, I'll be uh, probably picking or trying to be picking, picking more up of the uh, movies because I've seen more of them as the time goes on. Uh, but anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, video. And uh, stay tuned for next time, guys, uh, which will probably be, you know, a Studio Ghibli summer video but i will uh at the time of this recording i had not started work on the video that i have planned for my 200 subscriber special which by the way guys again thank you all so much for giving me up the 200 subscribers it means the it means that's absolute world to me uh but i do have something planned um for the 200 subscriber special um if you guys don't follow me on my social medias or my discord basically i have a q a planned and i'm get, trying to get some more questions in uh, but I've not filmed that yet, and uh, probably by the time that this goes up, it's probably not going to be out yet. Uh, but stay tuned over the next couple of days, because that's probably when it's going to be out. Uh, but anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little video that I, I decided to make. And uh, stay tuned next time, guys, for most likely a Studio Ghibli summer video. Uh, but probably for uh, also stay tuned for the uh, 200, uh, 200 subscriber to uh, Q&A special, because uh, that will be coming out soon. But anyway, guys. Stay tuned next time for the next video. Live long and prosper. Out.